On today's episode of Tomatoes Gourmet Kitchen, we are making Gordon Ramsay's <laughs> bread and butter pudding. It's quite a delicate recipe with a creaminess that I don't know what I'm talking about. I haven't made it yet. <laughs> Walmart, I don't know her. I'm so classy. Hey, how's it going today? I'm fantastic. So today, I am making a very special recipe on Tomatoes Gourmet Kitchen. So recently on all my cooking videos, y'all have been commenting, Gordon Ramsay was found quaking, Gordon Ramsay is shook, Gordon Ramsay left the chat, and it gave me the idea. Why don't I make one of Gordon Ramsay's recipes? He's like, that bitch. Okay, Gordon Ramsay is that bitch. <laughs> And then I checked YouTube and it turns out the amazing Rafael Gomez has already basically done the Gordon Ramsay recipe type of video. So, <laughs> credit to him. I didn't know that he did it, but yes, King. So anyways, I went on Daddy Ramsay's website and I was looking through all of his recipes and I came across something called bread and butter pudding. In English, that means bread and butter pudding. Basically, I think it's kind of like a gourmet European version of bread pudding, but it has butter on top. No, it's actually very um very complicated very complex also if gordon ramsay somehow sees this one day gordon daddy <laughs> daddy ramsay drag me use me as a damn mop on the floor call me a swiffer bitch it would be an honor to be dragged by the daddy himself gordon and so i have all my ingredients here i'm gonna be using bread <laughs> butter <laughs> and that's it no, I'm just kidding, that's not it. Heavy cream, chicken fat essays, light brown sugar, vanilla extract, but this is like the this is like the cheap version, like the fake version, vanilla flavor. Okay. Apricot jam, dark chocolate, <laughs> milk. Now this is whole milk because this came from the whole cow titty. Like not just the nipple, the whole, the whole tit. <laughs> Science. And then cinnamon! So those are all of our ingredients. So let's so as you can see it from the ingredients, it's gonna be like a delicious, bready, gourmet dessert. I'm really excited about it. So let's start. It says, heat the jam in a pan over low heat for a couple of minutes until melted. Okay, so we have the apricot jam here. Apricots, I don't know her. I've never actually had an apricot. I don't really eat apricot things. It's like that fruit that you just don't know. So Okay. Ooh. It smells kind of citrusy, but also kind of like a plum. It's at two to three tablespoons, so I'm just like, okay, let's take this to the stove. By the way, y'all are gonna be shook. Wait, I'm moving the whole tripod right now. Y'all are gonna be shook, because my stove top is clean. What a lolly day it is, ain't it? So it's at to heat over a low heat. I eat caviar for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. So I guess I'm just gonna wait until it's like melted, like more of a liquidy consistency, right? I don't know. Whenever I queef, it smells like Jardin Dior. My vagina smells like a nice department store. Okay, I think this is melted enough. Zaddy Gordon, is it good, Zaddy? So it says to just take this off the heat and set it aside. So that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so next step, we have to chop up the bread. Well, not chop it up, but like slice it. <laughs> so I had a little issue in the supermarket, okay? So the recipe says six pans of chocolate cut into slices one centimeter thick. I don't know what six pounds of chocolate means. I don't speak French, I'm a trashy American. So I assumed it was like a chocolate bar, right? And then when I was at the store, I was like, this is a bread and butter dessert. Why isn't bread in the recipe? <laughs> and so I looked up pens au chocolate, and I find out that it is a very special kind of bread that has chocolate pieces in it, okay? It's almost like a big, loaf of croissant. Now here in America, like I said, we are trash. So we don't have those things. We don't have pounds of chocolate. And so I had to improvise. I got kind of like a bread that looked kind of similar to it in the Google photos. <laughs> this is called all butter braided brioche loaf authentic French recipe. It's French. And what I'm gonna do is just cut up some chocolate pieces and just kind of stick them into the bread. <laughs> it's still a gourmet recipe. This is special dark chocolate and this is 
French au fanfan. Let's slice up the bread. So it says to cut it into one centimeter thick pieces. Oh, this smells so good. This is like that sweet kind of bread that like smells like cake. This is gonna work so well. Let's start slicing. Every time you look at me, you probably think she's so classy. She wipes her asshole with money. Please can any legend be for me? Okay, so here are our bread slices. I think I did a great job. This is like some factory shit. So now I'm gonna cut up my chocolate bar. I'm gonna try to place it into the bread, but if it can't go in, like if it breaks the bread and all that stuff, I'm just going to kind of like layer it into the pudding casserole dish thing. I sound like a tennis player. <laughs> so I was like, oh! classy. I'm so classy. I'm just gonna set this aside. I don't think that I'll be able to put it into the bread. I think the pieces are too big. Yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna work. And so I'm just gonna kind of layer it as I go. So I'm gonna set these aside and move on to the next step. Okay, so it says to butter the bread slices and put them all into a large bowl. So I have my bowl here. Gucci Walmart, I don't know her. I'm so classy. Okay, so my whole loaf of bread is buttered. So now I gotta get out my baking dish. I use my one fancy dish that I have. This is what I made my ratatouille in. It's a little dusty. So now it says I have to butter this pan. Normally I would just spray it with Pamela, but this is a Gordon Ramsay recipe. So, I don't wanna piss his ass off. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my stick of butter and mm. I got my whole wax, I got my whole bleach. Now my whole shines like a ring, clear diamond ring. Now it's just to sprinkle two teaspoons of cinnamon directly onto the pan, which is very weird. I've never heard of that. It must be some kind of gourmet method because I don't know her, but Gordon knows what he's doing, so. All over the pan, just like that. And then it says to add two tablespoons of sugar. Now y'all, this recipe called for demerara sugar. Demerara sugar. I didn't know what that was, so I Googled it and it said that it's some kind of a light brown cane sugar. So, I got me some light brown cane sugar. All the sugar is gonna melt like with the butter and the um, cinnamon. I think that's gonna make a really delicious like sauce at the bottom. That's gonna be so good. Perfect, and it says to add golden raisins to the bottom bottom, but I truly don't like raisins. I think that they are the old ladies of fruit. No offense, old ladies. Grapes are a plump titty. <laughs> raisins are a saggy titty. See what I mean? So I don't like raisins. I did not get them, and I really had to pee at the store, and I couldn't find them anyway, so I was like, screw the raisins. We're not putting it in. Okay, it's close-up time, y'all. So now we are supposed to pour most of our melted jam over this. So I guess just, <laughs> okay. I guess just like that. I bathe in champagne, it tickles my neck. So now we have to make kind of our custard mixture. Okay, so I have to add a bunch of milk. Now all the measurements are in like milliliters and grams. <laughs> and so I've been trying to Google convert all these things into cups. So I hope that I'm doing it right. Oh my God. Okay, so here's some milk. Okay. Now I have to add some heavy cream. So I think it's like that much. Now I have to add six eggs, which is a lot of eggs. So it's gonna make a lot of liquid. Oh my God. Oh, okay. There you go. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six. Okay. The eggs are in. <laughs> now I have to add some cinnamon and my vanilla flavoring. Now it did call for actual vanilla seeds, but where am I gonna find that, Gordon? And so I'm just using the fake extract a little bit in, there you go. And now we're just gonna whisk all this up until all the eggs and everything are completely incorporated. Every time you look at me, you probably think she's so classy. She wants her asshole with my name. Please can they legend be from me? Classy. It's time to assemble. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so first things first, it says to pour a little bit of this over the bread in the bowl directly, which I'm kind of scared of because the bread might fall apart and I really don't want it to, but I'm gonna follow the directions and see what happens. I know it's a different kind of bread, so. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak in. <laughs> Get in there, bitch! I'm thinking I might assemble almost like a ratatouille. I think that'll look really pretty. So I'm just gonna stick some piece of chocolate in there as I go. I'm so close. Louis and Fendi. 
Target? Who's that bitch? I'm so classy. Okay, so now I'm supposed to pour the batter over the rest of the bread. So I guess it's just gonna soak it all in. Oh! I'm so classy. And then it says to finish it off with a sprinkle of sugar. So it's gonna make it all nice and almost like caramely on top. Oh my goodness, slay me. So now we have to bake it. I will see you guys right after it's done. Eh? Okay y'all, so it's done and literally just finished baking. Where's my oven mitts? I have not even looked inside. Oh my God. Is it burned? I can't tell. Is my book rack showing? Oh my God. <gasps> Y'all, look at that chocolate dripping out. What the hell? <gasps> oh, do y'all think Gordon will be proud? <sighs> Gordon, please, Daddy, be proud of me. So I guess I just go in like a bad bitch. Oh, yes, that's cooked. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. That is one of the best things I've ever tasted. And yes, I did not, y'all, I'm just literally sitting on the floor right now. <laughs> and yes, I did not use the right bread. I did not use the right sugar, the right vanilla. I didn't have access to those things here, y'all, but I still made it work and it tastes so good, I am shook and I'm still on the floor. And it's not too sweet because there's not like a lot of sugar in it. Mmm. Warden, if you watch this, drag me, but just know, I still made it taste delicious. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Tomatoes Gourmet Kitchen. In my last episode, I made Eggs Benedict, and the one before that, I made Ratatouille. So much fun, y'all. Also, I am on Cameo, so if you want a selfie style video for yourself or a loved one or a friend, cameo.com slash Tomato. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Ooh.